Hospital, go back to the Oval Office. Got to see each other yesterday. And you shared a preview of your plan to win this war. And that's exactly what uh, we're going to discuss today. Now the Ukraine, how is Ukraine going to prevail in this conflict? And I see two key pieces. First, right now we have to strengthen Ukraine's position on the battlefield. And that's why today I'm proud to announce a new $2.4 billion package of security assistance. I've also directed the Pentagon to allocate, to allocate all the remaining security assistance funding that has been appropriated for Ukraine, period, by the end of this, my term, which is January 20. And this will strengthen Ukraine's position in future negotiations. Second, uh, we look ahead to help Ukraine succeed in the long term. As you know better than anyone, we, as we said at the Washington Summit, we have to support Ukraine in its path to membership to both the EU and to NATO, and continue to make reforms to counter corruption and strengthen democracy, which you're working mightily on right now. We have to ensure Ukraine has sufficient capabilities, and I mean sufficient capabilities, to defend against future Russian aggression. So I'm proud of the steps we've taken in our partnership on these fronts. Earlier this summer, we launched the Ukraine Compact with more than 20 nations committed to Ukraine's long-term security. And yesterday, with over 30 nations and the EU, we launched the Joint Declaration of Support for Ukraine's recovery and reconstruction, some of it using Russian assets as well. And so uh, with both these actions, we make it clear we stand with Ukraine now and in the future. We've got a lot to discuss, so let me close with this. These two elements are critical to how this war ends. Let me be clear. Russia will not prevail in war. Russia will not prevail. Ukraine will prevail, and we'll continue to stand by you every step of the way. So thank you for being here, and the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Mr. President, uh, thank you for your strong support for the decision that are helping us protect Ukraine, Ukrainians, our home. We deeply appreciate that Ukraine and America have stood side by side from the very first moments of this terrible Russian invasion. Your determination is incredibly important for us to prevail. Yesterday we had, as you said, we had a G7 plus meeting on Ukraine's reconstruction with more than 30 countries participating, and it was a truly helpful format. We must restore normal life, and we greatly value your leadership, Mr. President. We also have 26 bilateral security agreements with partners based on the G7 security declaration. We have a strong security agreement with the United States, and we are grateful for it, and we will fully implement it. And it's very important that we share the same vision for Ukraine's security future in the EU and NATO. And Ukraine is doing the unprecedented number of reforms on this path. Today we have a new support package, $7.9 billion. This will be a great help. And I raised with President Biden the plan of victory. Today we are preparing to discuss the details to strengthen the plan, coordinate our positions, use and approaches. Our teams will work together to ensure the implementation of our future steps. And today in the morning, I've met with both Senate and the House, and uh, thank you for the unwavering bipartisan support. And to all American people, together we have to win, and we will win. Thank you. Thank you. Mr.